Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this special video. I don't know that there's a bigger talking point tonight than this big bombshell that John Cena dropped just a couple of hours ago. John Cena has said that 2025 is going to be his retirement year. He's done in 2025 he said that royal rumble next year will be his last royal rumble elimination chamber will be his last elimination chamber wrestlemania will be his last wrestlemania now he wasn't very clear uh, in the ring as to when his last match was going to be but he was very clear that after Money in the Bank, he would be doing a press conference. And he did. And we got plenty of answers at the press conference. So this big bombshell obviously has gone off. There's loads of people sending their thoughts to Cena, wishing him a happy retirement. Or as I would say, is just pump the brakes. Because what he's announced is that next year is his retirement year. And he will be stepping away. So here, these are some key comments that he made here, Sports Kida. Uh, so he's got 30 to 40 tentative dates planned for the coming year, 2025, and then he's going to retire. So in 2025, there will be 30 to 40 dates on John Cena, right? Uh, so we will see him 30 to 40 times. Some of those may be house shows, but I would imagine they're going to want to get as much of Cena on TV as possible, right? Uh, it sounds like he's going to be involved in uh, the Rumble, in Elimination Chamber, obviously in WrestleMania. So it seems like we've got all of those things kind of lined up, right? Here's uh, Wrestle Talk. If we uh, whoosh this over, uh, Wrestle Talk have got uh, the whole thing kind of written down. Here's the more details. So it's not ending at WrestleMania. WrestleMania is his last. They're looking to go from January to December. We're going to try and do a long list of dates, about 30 to 40, but I am juggling a lot of stuff. Uh, part of the business plan is something I proposed and they accepted, right? This is something that he went back to a few times. Someone asked why now? And he said, well, actually, I had an idea and then I got a phone call saying that they felt the time was right for that idea. So it seems like there is a story. It seems like there is a plan. And it seems like early next year is when they're going to do it. It feels to me like that plan, what would make the most sense, would be title number 17. At the moment, he is neck and neck with Ric Flair with 16 world title reigns. Someone needs to get that 17th. Someone needs that outright record. Maybe the plan is that they do pull the trigger on that for John Cena just before he walks off into the sunset, you know? Give him the belt at WrestleMania. Have him defend it a couple of times. Maybe lose it at SummerSlam. I'll tell you the thing, though, that I was just talking about during our live stream. If he's got 30 to 40 dates and they want to get through to December, where's his last match? We don't do a premium live event in December. Like, the last one that we normally do is Survivor Series, and that is at the end of November. So is he going to end this thing on a Raw or on a SmackDown? That would seem like a real shame. Or... Do we do a special thank you Cena show? Do we do a special premium live event where we actually put a card together and this is Cena's last match? That would sell. No two ways about it. Tickets for that would sell. If you tell people in December 2025, we're going to put on a big arena show, 20,000 people, and we want the biggest Cena fans there. You do some competitions, give away some tickets, but you say, this is it. This is Cena's last match. That would make sense. So uh, I kind of feel like we might be in for like a real special extra added bonus ple um because in, in december unless we're going to move survivor series we don't tend to do a ple in december right so that's just something that's worth kind of bearing in mind 
I've always said to the audience that WWE is my home. And just because I physically feel that I'm at the end doesn't mean I have to distance myself from something that I love. I've got passion for the business. I still watched Money in the Bank and yelled at the screen. Uh, I feel I've got some wisdom locked up here that could be of some value. So I'm looking forward to ending my participation in the ring in the best way that I possibly can and being a member of the extended WWE family for quite a bit of time to come. So don't know quite what that means, quite how that's going to play out. But um, yeah, that was the the kind of excellent work there by Wrestle Talk to jot all that down. Adam Goldberg, Cena said, after his retirement, the next time you'll see him in WWE will be in a suit and no longer the jorts. He did say the jorts were going to be retiring. And he was quite upset about that because he said they're just coming back into fashion. So it's a bit frustrating. <laughs> there was a question as well about Vince, right? So the question was like, can you talk about Vince and what he meant to your career and all of that? And uh, Cena said, I would much... I would really much rather talk about what's ahead of us. I thought it was an excellent answer. He said that he had already spoken about it. You can find his answers on it. And so you can go and dig them up. And it is true. I think it was on the Howard Stern show that Cena actually did talk about the Vince situation. That is true. He has already spoke about it. So he's not really dodging it. But you can understand him not wanting to kind of dig all of that up again, right? So we were joking that uh, that uh, journalist might be in a bit of trouble now for asking that question. Uh, John Cena would love to go for 17 world titles. I do remember as well, and I don't know if it was Randy Orton that said this, but I do remember either Cena or Orton saying they would love to face each other at WrestleMania. I mean, it really is. Randy Orton really is John Cena's biggest feuds. When I think about Cena, of course, you can think of so many opponents. But I personally think of Randy. Randy and Cena constantly going back and forth at each other. I think if the plan for next year's WrestleMania is that we do Cody versus Rock and we do Cena versus Randy... Like, oh, my God, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Maybe as well we do Roman versus Solo, right? Maybe we build uh, towards that at next year's uh, WrestleMania. I mean, I don't know what next year's WrestleMania is going to look like, but if I had to guess right now as to who Cena will be facing, I think I would guess Randy Orton at WrestleMania. But then that begs the question, who's his last match against? If you do Randy Orton at WrestleMania, who does he end his career against? And Cena says, uh, here we go. Cena said, I'm in no position to handpick opponents, which I completely agree with. I think he's absolutely in a position to handpick opponents, right? We'll just have to see who shows up for that last match. That was when he was asked about that last match match but that last match is not wrestlemania as we said apparently january to december 30 to 40 dates here was a tweet from uh, triple h calling uh, cena the greatest of all time so uh shaking hands embracing there we go triple h and john cena backstage there's the handshake triple h john cena what a history they've got as well MLB said, thank you, John Cena. There's a picture of John throwing out, uh, I'm guessing, the first pitch. And uh, Orlando Magic said, happy retirement to John Cena. I could have spent ages going through and finding more examples of people wishing Cena happy retirement. But as we said, he's not retired now, right? He's announced that 2025 is going to be like his final year. And it really feels like that's going to be the theme of next year for me. I mean, if it is to be John Cena's final year, I'm sure that's going to overshadow a lot of things. And so it should. As Michael Cole said on commentary, he regards him as the greatest uh, superstar of all time. And um, it's a hard one to argue, really. If you look at how many main events he had, how many championships he had, how many amazing, exciting matches he was involved in. Um, you think about him against The Rock, so big they did it twice 
You know, I mean, he really was involved in just some of the biggest moments in WWE's history. So I don't know that I can say he was the biggest of all time. I can certainly say he was one of the biggest of all time. And uh, he's calling it quits next year. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. We are going to do a Money in the Bank breakdown video. Um, we'll do that over on the second channel. I've got loads of reaction clips and stuff that I'm going to be putting up on TikTok and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, we did a seven and a half hour stream. Uh, so it's got all my thoughts in there, but I'll pick out a few. We'll do a review and stuff on the second channel. But for me, nothing was bigger than this news. John Cena ending his career next year uh, has really hit a lot of people in the feels. There's going to be a lot of nostalgia. There's going to be a lot of reminiscing. There's probably going to be a lot of merch. So, uh, yeah, lots coming up in 2025. So there we go. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.